Well, they're calling it the future of music, a new concert venue in Las Vegas that cost 3.4 billion Australian dollars to build. U2 were the first to play in the sphere that seats 17,500 people inside the world's largest wraparound high-definition screen. Have a look. I genuinely don't know if that's a concert with a light show or a light show with a concert. Have a look at the 111 metre high exterior Whoa. covered in LED screens. It looks like something from outer space sitting there in the Los Angeles skyline. Absolutely incredible, Liz. I love it. Trust Las Vegas. Like they don't have enough bling, now they've got this as well. People already flock there. You should have built it somewhere else. I don't get it though. They've got this brand new cutting edge technology, something no one's ever seen. It's the most amazing, mind blowing new thing. Who will we get to open it? Oh, you too? <laughs> open the load. The people who, uh, everyone got on an iPhone, got upset with their music downloaded into their phone. Like, and also, anyway. let's chuck it out in the middle of nowhere in the desert. But before you go tonight, you have to see this emotional support alligator. It's not a dog. It's not a cat. It's an alligator. And he was recently barred from a baseball game in the US by security who wouldn't let him and his owner attend the game. This is the game we've been waiting for, the emotional support alligator, Wally. He's here, but unfortunately, you said Phillies won't let him in? They won't, the security won't let him in. They don't, even though it, it has an emotional support animal? Rub his chin. Hey, look. Kids do it, you can do it. Here, you can go rub your chin. See, look. What? No kidding it is, because you're touching an alligator under the... Is he hugging you? Yeah. Wow. Shame on you, Phillies. Can't let a little gator in. Although in breaking news, Clover Moore is reconsidering her plan to allow pets on public transport. <laughs>